Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of wines, uh, rather beautifully labelled wines, uh, front, in front of me. Pimo. I'm presuming they're called Pimo because there's two grapes, Pecorino and Montepulciano, um, made by a company called The Wine People, um, and um, both from the Abruzzo region. Um, so I've got a white and a red. Let's just dig in. So the Pecorino Terry di Chieti, uh, 2017 vintage. Give it a whirl. Smells young, slightly nutty and creamy, as if it's going to have a, um, one of those wines, well, Italy specialises with its white wines, um, in texture. Sometimes they're not amazingly um, di diverse in flavours, but they always have this, well, not always, but they often have this um, makeup for anything that's um, quieter on the flavour front by lovely mouthfeel, making them really food friendly. And it smells like it's going to be one of those, a little bit of pear, a uh, little bit of yeah, slightly nutty peach kernel, but um, yeah, smells like smells smells interesting. When you come to taste it, um, I wasn't getting notes of nectarine or anything like that, but that's the type of fruit that's coming forward. A little bit of a green banana as well, um, and it's weird. The pear I was smelling seems to have vanished into the background. But as I suspected, uh, nicely textured. Uh, feels like one of those wines that um, would uh, slip down rather easily with uh, quite a variety of foods. Um, it's n there's nothing too loud and shouty to intrude. It's got weight, it's got flavour, but it's not got too much of it. It's got acidity, but it's not too sharp. So anything from oh, roast chicken to uh, uh, to garlicky prawns to um, goat's cheese salad, I imagine you'd have a bit of a good time with that. But that green banana edge coming through quite strongly. Better make sure my glass is reasonably empty before I set into the second one. So uh, the Montepulciano, um, so uh, Montepulciano d'Abruzzo, uh, and it's um, a year older, so this is 2016 vintage. This smells young, fresh and crunchy. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to try too hard to be uh, over rich and over ripe. Alcohol wise, it's 13.5%, so it's not like a, 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 a either overstated or understated. It's, it's the sort of alcohol level I expect, but it feels like, well, it smells like the fruit's not gone uh, anything like ripe, over ripe and gone slightly raisiny. So there is this uh, slightly spicy plum berry. Um, and uh, it smells good, honest, yeah, good, honest stuff. It's got that slightly sour cherry edge that I find in a lot of Italian wines and makes them, um, uh, yeah, yeah, there's almost like a savoury element there that makes you think, uh, I want some food with this. I want something that's, uh, well, I can feel myself salivating now. Um, I want, uh, yeah, I want something that's got quite a little, lot of uh, honest, rich flavour. Uh, honest rich flavour in the food, honest rich flavour in the wine. Um, not alarming in price, about eight or nine pounds, no, nine or ten pounds. Um, and uh, very satisfying at that price. I think both of them, a nice pair. They look good, they taste good. And um, I've got two bottles for, uh, to get through. Uh, and there's not just me, of course, but um, I'm sure we will manage to uh, do them justice because they deserve it. See you soon.